and we're live on the website on it. Wait, what, wait, 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 what are we doing? <laughs> We've been live for about 15 seconds. Eugene uh, is lost in the Man, sauce. I almost forgot what we were doing. As... <clears throat> so did... <laughs> so this today... Be... Oh, oh, sorry. Today... We're doing a website audit on Best Smoke, a.k.a. Smoke District. It's actually in the same plaza as Snap Fitness. <clears throat> over right on here West in the Chase local West Chase area, right outside Racetrack of Tampa. Road. Racetrack Road, which I'm not quite sure. Is racetrack two words, or is it one word? I mean, you tell me. I don't know. I need to know. Because I was assuming Google. What does Google say? Google says two words: race and track. Yeah, but everyone has theirs in as race track is one word, so it's very confusing to me. Anyway, yeah, you, you want to go ahead and pull up the uh, pull up the first link. Yep, look yep. at the website first. Why doesn't it let me share? I don't have the share button. You can tell me. Hold on. I'm being serious. You, uh, what the hell? I got demoted or something? No, you didn't get demoted. I don't know why it's not letting you share. This is what happens when you let Shane run the controls. That's not true. Just because he's on top does not mean anything. Uh, why would it not let you share? I didn't change anything. Maybe it's under settings. Maybe they changed it. Where it doesn't automatically start out. Let me see. Let me see. Participant's name automatically share screen. Show non-video participants. Presentations. Nope. You're clicking that little bottom one in the middle. It says share screen. Oh man, what the hell? Is that not? Is that not it? Hold on. It's asking me to re-authenticate. Oh, okay. So it wasn't my fault, folks. As usual. <laughs> listen, listen. And then, and then he disappears on me. So we're waiting for Eugene to get his uh, his stuff straight. I guess while we wait, I can just pull it up myself. Okay, what are you doing? And we're back. <laughs> do you, okay, did you re-authenticate or whatever? I did, I did. I, okay. Yeah, right. I did. <clears throat> okay, right. do you have, the share, you have the share button now, right? I do. We are back here. We're back in action. <laughs> uh, Pull it on up. So we are, we, as you guys know, if you've watched us before, we want to give back to local businesses in our local area. Um, if you have a business that you want us, us, us to review, let us know. All right. So we're going to go, we're going to start with best smoke three, best smoke three or Best Smoke in general, because there's apparently three locations, uh, and Smoke District are um, affiliated, and I think it's it's applicable to go over both of those. So, But Best Smoke 3 is in our area. Uh, we're going to take a look at them. So here is their Google listing. We've got five Google reviews, all positive. Nothing to see here. Um. All information is there. And I think their website opens to it. Yep. So, I mean, what do you have to say about their Google listing? I think that looks great. Yeah, I think they got some good content up there. I know uh, you can't, you can do like updates to your Google listing, which I don't do enough of. If you guys have um, the app, I think is called My well, Business. You can, you can technically publish right <clears throat> to it. Yeah, no, no, no. That's Almost like a social it's media a, profile. It's a great little thing. Uh, and like I said, I don't use it near as much as I, I should. But you can go into their app. And I mean, you can see everything. 
three point five thousand views, two point seven thousand searches. Like you can see all your activity in one spot, and you can see when someone else tries to up, update something to your website. Like right now, it says review your business information to improve your presence on Google. So if someone goes up and they see that you're not open <clears throat> when when your open hours say. They can actually put in there, they can submit like, oh, well, they're actually open these hours right. and you can approve or deny um, nice. those options, which There's is no nice because your, your customers can help you out. Yeah, I think this is great. Uh, let's look at their website. So it's uh, bestsmoke.net. Now this is going to be for all three of theirs. Sorry, I'm scrolling just to look at something real quick. Um, all right. So I was on the Best Smoke 3. Uh, up here at the top, uh, Best Smoke West Chase will kind of go right there, just because uh, we're not looking at you know we're not looking at it overall. Uh, what's your first impressions above the fold? I mean, it's a working website, so that's good. They got you know military ten percent off up top. I like that aspect. Um, I will I say, think that- I think some of the quality of the photos as you were scrolling through was a little bit less than what I would put on a, a website, even to grab, you can grab uh, stock images pretty easy that are a little bit higher quality. It's still, it's still better than nothing. Don't get me wrong, but. True. Um, I think that um, I, I think above the fold, um, it looks, it's a base, like you said, it's working. It's a basic website. Um Poses, beautifully imported from Egypt, as well as all the accessories. Oh, God. So for, for a second, I was like, what, what's happened? Um, above the fold, I think it's it works. It, it's basic. If I want to go to the South Tampa or Dunedin there, West Chase is good. I don't have a problem. I think that logo, the blockiness of it bothers me. I'd like to just see best smoke and then maybe smoke outlined um, in blue. Yeah, so it's like a PNG rather than just a square yeah. logo. Uh, so. With a transparent background, but uh, easy enough to, I mean, we could do, I could do that in literally, I'd probably have to remake the logo um, because of the, the smoke. It would to probably it. take him about three weeks, folks. Don't talk about editing your photos. <laughs> That's not a photo, first of all. And editing <laughs> photos takes much I know what well, we're talking about many weeks. Anyway, so. Um, I'm on West Chase and I'm scrolling down. I see YouTube. Okay, sweet. Let's look at the YouTube. Um, July 25th, 2019. And why even watch this? It's about South Tampa. But in all fairness, it is content and it is true. Know, we'll it get is, we'll get it into them for the content. It is something. Smoke shop West Chase. This is how we started in 2015. That logo is killing me, but okay. This is how they started, I guess, at South McDill, and this is where they're at. That's um, good. I like it. I like a nice trans uh, transformation. Yeah, I'll take scroll, it. Scroll all the way to the end. I want to see: Do they update? Like, this is where we started. This is where we end, or is that kind of just? Oh you, no, um, no. This I don't think so. Um, oh. No, it's all about. Oh, just just the the origination of it. Yeah, the origination oh, okay. of of best smoke in, in McDill. Um, yes, it's content, but if it's if my description is going to say it's the best smoke West Chase, and this is how we started in 2015, I want a little bit more context. Um, and I that video is killing me. I'd rather have no intro, no outro, than have that one. That's just me. Um, brands we carry photo, um, photo gallery. I see some brands. Most of these are for McDill. Um, you and I both know, uh, depending on where, uh, what, um, what this is made of and we can look with the content management system. And we can look at it, um, I'm going to say probably what's your guess? 
Oh, GoDaddy. Oh, no, it came out too fast. Um, it's GoDaddy. So, I mean, even on GoDaddy, right? So if this is this West Chase is a page, have business or location pertinent information on that page. Um, mm. Don't have McDill um, in it, uh, your old logo. Um, have West Chase pertinent stuff. And to to create that without actually creating it and to duplicate your content, you can just mirror your Instagram feed right here. This is true. Yeah. There's a lot of different angles. Like, and again, I think some content, even if it's not exactly, you know, the greatest content, some content is still better than no content, but I, I would, I would definitely start Maybe Lose make a back. change. Maybe make a change every day, like a small change or every week. One change a week. Just go yeah. in and change like one section. Now there, there, is, kinda... there, there are things that I that we use or that I use um, to mirror. You can mirror. Um, let's say you only had one uh, Instagram for all of these. I can selectively show ha different hashtags from my Instagram on a particular feed. So let's say this was another feed. Let's say that was the general feed above and this CBD one was a CBD only. So only the post that I had this tag CBD West Chase or whatever would show up in, in, this, in this gallery or feed. Same thing, it has McDill's address on it. Um, and people, like we said before, we'll say it again, people overall, customers are not very intuitive um, so that could confuse a lot of people. Even if it's, I tell you what, in the last like three or four weeks, I've gotten two different consultations. Like people sent me messages through my website. My website is westchasefitness.com. They've sent me messages asking for personal training, scheduling appointments, me thinking they've, when you pull up my website, there's a map at the bottom where right at above where you're putting in your information to request a personal training session. Uh, there's a map right there and they've seen this clicked submitted. And two times in the last three, four weeks, it's been people from uh, Dunedin. Oh, okay. And, and they go to Dunedin anytime fitness. And they've like, I've, I've messaged or I've called, Hey, where are you at? Oh, well, I'm over here at anytime fitness. I'm like, um, which anytime fitness and then sure enough Dunedin no that's not where I'm at I just try to join so their, it's, real, um, it's real easy to confuse people their mailing list and um, it says that they're gonna let me know um, if we scroll down contact us um, I like if you're gonna say contact us make it obvious we're here to help uh, Put a contact form there, or, or contact us. Click here, something like that. When you that. click on, when you click on that, okay, it does open. See, even that, I, I would much rather just see it already open, because you can have that already open so that someone can enter it in and hit send. Yeah, you can have it already open. So, um, the functionality on GoDaddy generally works. Uh, let's see. I press send. Oh, oh well, okay. We'll see. Um, it has hours. Uh, it has directions. Up until this point, it has a lot of information. If I'm looking for what they have, other than the McDill address, that's my only technical gripe. Um, this is where, and I looked at this earlier, this is where it gets a little weird. Um, I think this is slightly misleading because this is putting McDill's um, reviews on your West Chase page. Keep the mm. location content on the location page. Well, I think that's because I think they transferred that that location just over to sure. this business. Yeah, no, you know you what mean, I mean. And that's and that's why the address is no. The same I, thing I with still the address. Think, no, no. What what he did was he copied the page. And it's probably if we go to the other pages, it's probably the same. It's the same exact information, except for maybe the address. Yeah. Um, so, but anyways, that's that, those are the reviews. Let's look at their Facebook and see what their Facebook looks like. Oh man, what Facebook page doesn't work? 
I really love to look at reviews on Facebook and I judge a business by whether I'm going to go to it on Facebook. <laughs> And so it definitely doesn't. needs to fix that yep. link. So we well, got to fix and that. They do, and they do have a Facebook link, by the way. I know. Yep, they do. Um, and then I clicked on their Instagram and the McDill best smoke at Instagram is not working. Um, let's look at their, let's pull up the YouTube. We, I think we already looked at that. Yep. Turn her off. Uh, and then their Yelp. We're gonna people are gonna use the links on your website. So make sure that they're correct and make sure that they are working. So we're best smoke um, in South McDill on the West Chase page. Um, that's a problem because it's only three and a half stars, and some people live and die by the Yelp review. Um, let's see what it says. I mean, if we're gonna live and die by it, right? Might as well let's, let's look. Terrible shop and prices. I don't suggest this store to anyone and have a better smoke shop with way better prices than this crap. <laughs> um, worst customer service, unhelpful clerk. You have to address the, we've talked about this before. You have to address these negative reviews, one. And two, learn from them. Don't go out at them upset and pissed off. Well, and even if it's just to say, "Hey, we're so sorry you had a bad experience. Let us uh, let us make it up to you." It's a real, real easy one to do. And I think obviously they've got a lot of five star reviews too, so it's it's not a it's not a yeah, continual no, no, there's, problem. There's, yeah, there's some. Um, but anyways, that's on the West Chase page. What are they like, sitting at? Three and a half stars. Uh, with Yelp, or uh, yeah. But it's not even for yeah. the West Chase page, right? It's for the um, it's for for that. McDill. But uh, I will help you and show you that Best Smoke Three actually has a Yelp, and that is what should be on the West Chase page. And this mm. is it. Doesn't have any reviews. It has been claimed. Um, I'd be asking people to get on there and do some reviews. It has all the information. It has the website. That's good. Directions, um, hours. Um, but yeah, you're, you're you're missing out if you're not putting getting people to do reviews on here. Um, but it's good. At least it's it's up. This has yeah, to be and updated I've, on their website. I've seen I've I've seen people down there, so I know that they have people coming in that they could get reviews from, and people always Even look, if, you know. Even if they got reviews from their employees, no, it, that's kind of roundabout. But there's, I count one, oh, one, two, three, four, five, five or six different people in those those photos that could do reviews uh, for the West Chase one. Yeah, um, I put my, uh, I put, I put little reviews on the gyms that I work in. I'll put a little. Hey, I love training here. Did you did you find like Best Smokes uh, Facebook page? It is. Smoke. It's it's called Smoke District West Chase. That, well, that's the Smoke oh. District. We're gonna get to them. Well, it's the same business. It's the same business, but it's not. It, it people are going to look at it two different things. One's a lounge, one's a smoke shop. Mm -hmm. So that that's what we have to say for best smoke three. I think overall good. Um, I've seen worse. Um, just pay attention to the content on your website. If you're going to do a website, awesome. I commend you. But make sure that the links are correct. Make sure that the location information is specific. It just it takes a little bit more work, not much. Now this is an associated business. That's why we're reviewing them together. Um, the smoke district. Thirty five Google reviews. That's good. Let's look at the worst one. Yeah, so they definitely have people that. 
So a week ago, horrible employees, no blackmailing. The store owner, AJ, said that the God left me in the fryer too long. And that is why I'm so black. The co-owner, Nancy, said that the N-word to my face disgusted me. Yeah, so so that's not – that's someone spamming or someone just being spiteful. Uh, I feel like I've heard a very similar review in West Chase. For on if someone you else's think, page. if you're the business owner and you're watching this, AJ or Nancy, and you think that that's incorrect, you should report it. Report the review and have all of your customers go report the review as well. Um, and you, you got to make, I, I don't yeah, know if look, I would. Look, yeah, ex-employee Haley keeps blackmailing the store owner with false accusations. Huh. Yeah. Stop by this place. Um, okay. Um, I mean, this is a, is an experience. Um, uh, this is a, um, a good, a pretty good response to a kind of complicated situation. Um, that's, I mean, I think this is an opportunity to, whether it was AJ or, or someone else, I think it is a, a, an opportunity for customer service training, um, in your store. Uh, the, the companies that I've worked with in terms of customer service training, generally it's not there. They have a negative, um, that they, they want to, um, be, be be bad at customer service or bad employees. They just don't know. So give employees a script, give them a process to follow and things will be so much better, better and easier. Um, yeah, well, I mean, look at uh, with Chick Fil A. You say thank you, my pleasure every time. They have Chick Fil A University. They, they all attend it. Yeah, they know exactly, and you get the same experience from, at all of them from all of the employees. My pleasure, my pleasure. My, they're help happy to help. Like you never have to worry about, you know, no, so, bad I mean, service. No. The other reviews are, are good. There's 35. I think that's a decent amount. Um, you're going to get as many reviews as you push for and ask for and have signs for and remind when they check out, hey, if you had a great experience today, we'd really appreciate you go on Google uh, and review our business or go on social media and review our business. Um, uh, and if you had a good time, you, could, you I'd love to get, you know, give us a, a five stars. Here's their website. See now, when that person was talking about what they were talking about on that review, um, not the crazy one, um, but this one, this one seems like it's, it's, it's not, that's why I think they're actually combined. Um, this one seems more of, of the smoke shop. So make sure your reviews, if you have two different business names, and, and even if they're, they're connected by a hallway, treat them as two different businesses or treat them as one and only have one. You could have the Smoke District Smoke Shop, Smoke District Lounge. Still the same different, two different things. Um, and you can combine those reviews and websites. Um, what do you think about Above the Fold? Well, I, that's the same, you know, it's the same, it's the same room. Both of those are in the same room. So I don't know why they have two separate. No, it's in the same room. I've been inside there. Oh, it's the same like room? It's the same, it's the same, it's one room, one giant room. Like there's oh. no like, oh, it's unit A or unit B or whatever. Like this is all one, oh. one installation. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, like, I'm a little bit confused about this because I've never, the decor looks good. Um, same thing. Oh yeah, it's very it's very nice in there. I love the very picture. Nice. Um, I think that um, 
it's important when you're displaying pictures of your business on your website or social media, think about what's in the background. Um, like my eye catches this one uh, chair is turned to the side. Um, like just, just little things like that. Um, I think those things are, are critically important. Um, also, why doesn't Smoke District at the very minimum have a, a, a word logo? You can go into Canva. Um, I mean, we do logos. They're going to cost you a little bit of money, but um, we need something. It's your brand. So um, it's clickable, so that's good. Uh, photo gallery. This is a low resolution. You did what Shane said. You went on Google. You're like, people having fun. <laughs> and you put up a picture. And it was low resolution. Yeah, it's actually interesting. I, that's And that's a really good quality photo. That next one, that's a great quality yeah. photo right there. Oh, yeah. Like, Talk to your uh, Mr. Photos right there. Yeah, this is. Okay. What's going on there? Yeah, I think some of them might be. It's kind of a blend of professional quality stock photos and then just random. You this know. this one was taken with a razor. <laughs> some of these pictures are nice. You want yeah, it's a, flattering? It's, a, it's an it's an interesting blend. I would rather have you but, had have no pictures than low quality pictures on here. And if you're going to have low quality pictures, make sure that they're from social media. So there's kind of a, to me, there's a reason why, but quite yeah. a few pictures. I mean, same thing here you could do is your Instagram feed, which we'll get to here in just a moment. So going down, um, premium cigars, we got a bunch of people smoke cigars. Hookah bar. Man, I want to see some people smoking some hookah. Oh, okay. They're smoking some hookah. Oh, wait. Do we smoke hookah outside? Well, apparently. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They have an outdoor seating section. It's pretty nice. VIP lounge. Where's that at? Those are weird. Uh, but... <laughs> Is this the overall feeling of the lounge? If so, I want that up at top. Um, smoke accessories. Someone ganked a, a picture off of Google, like Shane told you to. Um, uh, Pexels. Pexels what, is where it's at. What is this? If you guys haven't. Apparently, you can world. buy uh, whipped cream uh, 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 accessories. THC? Huh? Was that THC? No, this is this is Whippets. Oh, uh, okay. I personally would take this off. 100% legal, no problem. I'd take it off still. Um, low quality pictures again. Um, and it's not us. This is you taking this. If you're watching this, AJ or Nancy, don't take that as a negative. Take this as a positive. Turn these into a positive. Upgrade the quality of your pictures. Zoom out a little bit. What are... Here's some, here's some questions, um, Shane. How can people use their phone? What are what are two or three simple things they can do to take high quality oh, pictures? Of using I, their phone? iPhone iPhone takes amazing photos now. Like yeah, and even if you got one from a few years ago, uh, the big thing is like lighting. So like a lot of those lower quality, it's because it's dark in there. So the the iPhone will crank up. Uh, essentially what's like the ISO, so the light sensitivity, to try to bring light in. And then it just makes for a grainy photo. The brighter it is, the easier it is. Now, I mean, there's a there's obviously a, a limit to that. You can't go super crazy bright. But, yeah, like. So you're saying brighter well, pictures. Yeah, brighter photos. Make sure all your lights are on. Like, get a good quality and actually pay attention it's funny you mentioned you know the chair being offset like fix that stuff if something looks a little bit off in a photo you know other people know not just photographers notice that 
everyday people see stuff like that and maybe they don't consciously say, Oh, I don't want to, you know, be at this place, but they might just not have the same feel when they're scrolling through the website. Right. One of the things that, uh, one of the things that I, um, I see often is like, if you're taking a picture, let's say you're taking a picture of a cigar and you want to show it the cigar or show, um, some kind of, uh, um, spoke smoking apparatus and you hold it down to take a picture like people's feet sandals or otherwise being in it eugene loves feet by the way so that's where this this comes i don't from. hate feet i just don't like them in pictures <laughs> so um i wonder if this email or this email works let's see if the contact form apparently the contact form works so we know Good. aj or nancy are doing this um there's there's the there's that. I did not see um, any social media links on here. Did you? No. I like I the mean, website though. The website looks good. But yeah, it's real real easy and just one more added bonus to have Eugene trying to figure out how to make a pizza crust out of canned chicken. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. Did you pick up their their Instagram? <sighs> their Instagram was uh... all these links should be on your. Um, so here's their Facebook Smoke, Smoke District dot West Chase. There we go. Let's follow them. They were following me, so I'll follow them. Uh, Smoke District dot um, West Chase. Um, all right, has all the information that, that we need. Make sure that the website works. That's good. Uh, their last post was four hours ago. We're having like a team meeting over here. Yeah, they get a pretty good crowd. And honestly, it's even if even if that photo is from yesterday evening or two weeks ago or whatever, stock up on your photos. If you're taking photos, if you got people coming in there in the evening, take like – four, five, six times as many photos as you actually need for that day. Right. And that way, tomorrow, tomorrow at noon, two o'clock, three o'clock, whatever, whenever your peak times are for posting, you can post at that time. You don't have to post right there in the moment as soon as you get it. And you can put a little thought into your, uh, your caption, your hashtag, whatever. I, I like it. They're posting on here. Um, they have consistent hashtags. Um, West Chase is a big one, even though I haven't seen them pop up in there. Um, I like it. Well, I tell you what, Instagram's been less and less um, adamant about posting things under hashtags. That's why they're saying like hashtags are dying and everyone's using uh, reels more than anything else. Oh, they're well, saying that the, al the algorithm is not picking up uh, hashtags like it like it once did. But I still think you should they're... use them. I still think you should use them, even well, though they're less prevalent. I, you know, but well, I mean, just don't get upset if it's not getting you the same traction as it was. And do some reels. Yeah. I think. What do you think of? What do you think about this? I think they got some good continuity across their social media. They're posting, which is good. Yep. You know. And we'll see how they go about responding. Well, good. You got it. They're posting. They're posting videos. Um, let's see if they're getting tagged by their um, by their customers. Yeah. So smoke shop girls ta tagging them. Uh, probably one of their employees. Okay. Okay. Best smoke is tagging them. Um, all right. So they're getting tagged. They're they're using Instagram the way that I think it should be used, especially as a business. Maybe some more reels, um, but I like it. What do you think? I think it looks good overall. I think their website looks good. I think their social media presence is uh, um, is good. I think that I think it looks good overall. I think their website looks good. Mm -hmm. My bad, bro. Uh, that was an amateur move, thing. bro. 
Um, <laughs> so so uh, it, what it seems to me is that they're using the, the Instagram to Facebook feature, which I appreciate um, because I think that some content is better than no content. And I think posting from Instagram to Facebook is more than acceptable. So they're same same thing. They're using that that as well, um, and they're uh, his email on there. I'm coming off that email a little bit more in terms of like using the the smoke district or you know uh, Anise or whatever at smoke dash district dot com and Gmail. I think is perfectly fine, but. Uh, let's see what their Yelp looks like, which were, was not on their website. There's one review. Uh, let's see what the review is. Nice. Great review. These are the kinds of people that you need to, I think, endorsing this person and thanking them for the review. I think thanking anyone for the reviews is a good idea. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you won't you won't catch a review on that. Like as soon as one pops up, I go immediately and thank them for their review. We have a ton of pictures. Oh, okay. So you are right. That's like the front. Yeah. Hmm. Gotcha. Yep, it's all in one hmm. section. It's a nice location. I mean, it's big. It's I don't know. I okay. haven't heard great. I haven't heard great things about the property management, but the land, the landlord, or whatever you want to call it, but you know, oh, of that of that shopping center. Yeah, that's another story. Gotcha. Well, I think uh, other than asking for more reviews, I think it's a it's it's a pretty good Yelp. Um, I don't see. Oh, yep, there it is. Personally. I would put everything under the smoke district and, and, and get rid of best smoke. Yeah. I think smoke district sounds better and I think it would just cleaner. Be old, it, it's, yeah. it's just, and then there's no better. confusion either. Is this the same place or is this a separate yeah, same place? place oh, oh, oh yeah. No confusion. Yeah. Um, let's see. I'll assume he uses go, uh, GoDaddy because it's the same. Yep. It does. Um, so, you know, definitely Smoke District is much better than Best Smoke um, across the board, even though they had a lot of their links. Um, Sorry. Amateur. It's amateur hour. God, it's amateur hour over amateur. here. <laughs> Please be quiet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, don't have kids. No. <laughs> um, I have kids. Um, but um, yeah, I, my personal opinion is put everything under Smoke District, create Smoke District, uh, create a, a logo, uh, easy to do for yourself or, you know, Shane or I can do it for you. Um, the last logo project that I did we had somewhere around 200 different logos for the client to prove uh, to uh, choose from. Um, and we can expand and even have even more than that. Um, I, I just think that it is, um, it's the best just to go with smoke district, make sure that your social media links are on there. Um, try to put your Instagram feed on the, the website uh, and just make sure that everything stays fresh um, and, uh, you have a website, so I'll, I'll take it all day long. What, what are you, what's your take on, on the smoke district, best smoke and all that? I think they're doing pretty good. I mean, I, there's obviously always room for improvement, but the website looks good. I mean, it's there. The contact forms appear to work, so we'll see how long it takes for replies on all that. Uh, that's a, you know, a whole nother. Let's see. Let's see if he's responded. The smoke responded with a 
subscription uh, confirmation, but nothing. Yeah. Okay. This is another time when the well, and at least this is an auto response. So you got some kind of response. And now hopefully, I think anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, some people say 48 hours, but I think, you know, within a day, you should be able to get back, especially, you know, depending on what your goal is. It seems like your goal is to get someone to communicate with you through their contact form. Right. You know, if your goal is to get them on an email list, you know, you would set it up differently. Yeah. So, I don't know if they, they don't, and they don't do any online ordering, right? It's all in. No in online house. ordering. I mean, that, that's a, that's a, that's a, um, uh, I know we're going to try to wrap this up here soon, but I think that's a, a, a good idea. Um, we are in. So two things. I, I mean, that's good. I didn't even think about that because they do have products. Um, they're all legal. Why don't you sell them online? One, um, whoever's working can put, can manage the inventory in the website. If you don't have a POS system that's managing inventory, you can manage the inventory in the website um, uh, and then have online ordering. People want to be able to come pick up. See you later. Yeah. And even if it is, even if your, if your thing is like, Oh, we can't ship. Okay. You can still do online ordering and do pickup only. Like even if you cannot ship, the product. And sometimes people like that. I don't want to go buy somewhere and risk them not having the product I want. Even when I, when I order my dog's, you know, dog food, I order it and I go pick it up. Right. And then it's ready and it's paid for and nice, smooth transition. So the, and these uh, are things that are easy to implement, but have such a huge reward. Um, wow. We're still in COVID times. We're technically still in a pandemic. Um, even though we live in Florida, the, the, the state of freedom, I think that, um, I, I think that uh, um, we underestimate, there are some people out there who, who still want, um, they still want online ordering. They still want contactless shopping. And I'll assume you would much rather have them buy at your web, at your facility than online somewhere. Oh, for sure. Cause your competitors are offering it. Believe it. Oh, I mean, and if something's, and if something's easier at another spot, sometimes I'll go to the other spot. Here you go. Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, good test. Let's see. Uh, West chase smoke. Smoke shop. Don't worry, Lux Smoke don't even doesn't even have a website, so you're safe with them. <laughs> Don't worry, Good Vibes Vape and Smoke Shop doesn't have a website. Old Mark Tobacco Shop doesn't have a website. What? Or that's, it's not at least not on there. That's that's crazy to me. On their Google reviews. Jesus, people. I'm not putting my dang my birthday. <laughs> Put Young, your birthday okay. in. Young. Put your birth. Put your birthday in. Get a quote. All right, so that's taking it somewhere. Get a. <laughs> what are we shopping for? Insurance here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, listen. Just because your competitors aren't doing it, doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. <laughs> you should definitely step it up for sure. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Oh, um, that's killing me. What about this guy over here? Don't don't say anything crazy, but see if online ordering. Now this is a this is this brings in a, a, an interesting idea. If you don't have a website, you don't want to make a website. 
for one reason or another, you can link your social media pages as the website on your Google review. Oh yeah. 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 Absolutely. That's something at least. Yeah. So anyways, online, that that's a great idea, Shane, uh, online ordering contactless, um, pickup is a great idea. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Any revenue is revenue. So, oh, yeah. All right, guys. Any last words, Shane? Um, last words. He almost fell asleep in uh, during this. I, di- I didn't. Uh, look, as a, wine, as a wise man once said, if you light a man a fire, he'll stay warm for the night. But if you light a man on fire, he'll stay warm for the rest of his life. That's terrible advice. Don't Don't do it. I don't recommend it. I don't recommend it, but it is actually true. I don't know if I should be scared or what. All right, so that's it from us, the Peanut Gallery. Uh, This has been this week's website audit of Best Smoke a.k.a. Smoke District, because it's all in one. I'm not sure if they're actually technically separate or all together or what, but... uh, I mean, it's confusing. It's a little confusing. But you guys should still check them out. They're great. They're over off Racetrack Road, so if you're in Tampa... (laughs) He he definitely just lied to you. (laughs) They're not horrible. They are over there, and I do see a lot of people that seem to enjoy... How many times have you been in there, Shane? Mr. Personal Trainer? I have walked by there and said hello to the owner at least twice. Oh. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. Are we talking about AJ? I think, yeah, but I think he introduced himself as something else. Maybe it was AJ. Uh, I'm just going off. I think that, I think that was like, yeah, that yeah I, think, I think that was like, I think that's like his nickname or something, but yeah. They, they very, said very, very piss him off. Maybe. Just, you know, like I said, he's a very nice guy. Now, very friendly. Hold on. And the people seem to like him. Hold on. Let's let's look at this real quick. As I was sitting here, some of legal age. Get, get out of here. Um, Smokey Jones <laughs> Smoke and Vape Shop, which is on West Hills, bro. So it is in this area, right? Have a website and you can shop on the website. Let's see what you can shop for. You can shop for just about anything they have in there, probably. Well, I okay. Know like comp- a lot of it's out of stock and not having pictures, but um, that's a step forward. The store is not accepting payments, okay? But the idea is there. Um, and uh, so someone in the area is doing that. Not successfully, but they're doing it. <laughs> They're giving it a whirl. <laughs> um, I'll only assume this 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 store is not accepting payments because this is Squarespace. Um, this is a Squarespace. Uh, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Squarespace. And maybe the and they they uh, violated they the do, community standards, so yeah, they, they took do away, tend took to have some, some high standards. Wait, hold on, protect CMS. Let's see. Weebly, okay. Why did it show me? Why did it show me Square up here? They probably have Square as their uh, uh, processing. So even though you have Weebly, you can you can integrate uh, Square or Stripe or any of oh, them. Right, they right. all have like working integrations now. Right. Okay. So there could be a couple of different things going on with this this site. Um, I prefer, and Shane does as well. Uh, hosted WordPress websites, primarily because they're the best in the game. 30 plus percent of all websites in the world use WordPress. That's number one. Number two, they're scalable. And number three, you have a less of a chance of pissing someone off. GoDaddy um, with a hosted solution. GoDaddy, Weebly, SquareUp, uh, Big Cartel, any of those. Um, if you even step near their community guidelines, um, they'll cancel you. They'll they'll stop payment. You don't. They don't care how much money you have. I, I've got a business owner who had 
like six grand in his site when Square decided to close down his shop. And they give him two options. Refund everyone, no matter how long ago that money was in there from, um, or wait six months to get your money. Oh. Yep. That's nice of them. Yeah. But they're all doing it. Shopify, Wix, Square Up, Big Cartel. Um, yeah. And- so basically, make sure you're taking your money out as it, which you should be doing anyway. You should not be leaving okay. money in in third party apps because yeah. there there's no reason to. There's no yeah. reason to leave your money. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, have a great day. See y'all next time.